What's up champions fam, it's Zeke 410, back with a brand new WWE Champions video. And once again, Champions has decided to drop a huge bombshell of an update on us. Now, on their official blogging website, they have informed us that they are going to have a beta for a brand new variant of in-game content known as Stipulation Tours or Marquee stipulations now in order to gain access to this you're going to have to be in league seven or higher so they're letting you know there's going to be a difficulty spike when it comes to this and there's different variants here there's going to be different types there's going to be color clash gemolition fearless fighters domination vigilant defender move mayhem and all-star and basically there's going to be different things that have to be met per match so you can accumulate currency that can be utilized on a exclusive prize wall which is going to give you a chance at different types of tokens at different star rarities including five star gold tokens definitely need those if you plan on taking up any four star gold to five star bronze and we already know where this is going five star silver five star gold and if they do six stars People are definitely going to quit because that's just ludicrous. But I digress. The point is, this is going to be some challenging content. When I think about what they're trying to do here, it makes me think of Fate Grand Order's Challenge Quest. It makes me think about Pirate Rumble for One Piece Treasure Cruise, as well as Super Battle Road for Dragon Ball Dokkan Battle. So, I'm all for a challenge. And... You know what? They've been switching things up with October 2020's Zombie Apocalypse MLC. We saw the return of the survival mode matches. Might not see invasions anytime soon, but at least we're getting an alternative way to play the game. And I honestly think this is going to be like for big brain players. This isn't going to be content that you just focus in on, oh, max out perks max out straps and metals i'm going to two turn this no there's going to be certain requirements that are going to have to be met in order for you to maximize your points and your scores so you can go and get the job done now on paper like anything it looks awesome highly convoluted very confusing but it looks like it would be cool but on the other side of things, new mode, new problems. And Champions already has enough glitches and bugs to deal with right now that I honestly feel that we don't need this right now. Now, they're going to do what they're going to do regardless. They're going to launch this regardless, okay? And to each his own. But I honestly feel we still have problems in game that have been around since the initial launch of wwe champions now you want to bring in another game mode that might make things even worse like showdown needs to get fixed we still have visual glitches and bugs for different types of gems that are utilized within matches and there's a boatload of problems that should be resolved before they even think about bringing in a new format of gameplay. And that's just me. Now, anybody else can write it off. They're going to be happy, you know? And I, I am excited to do content on this. I hope that I'm able to get into the beta to let y'all know what's up. But a lot of people are already saying it now. Well, looking at how things are going with the entry and the time block right there, that's one thing. And who knows? Maybe, I mean, I dig it if you got something that's time sensitive so you can get in and get out. That makes it more of a challenge. But priority before pleasure. My, my life, my real life is going to come before any damn game. I'm not going to be breaking my neck to try to get into something and that could be just be pertaining to the beta they might just be saying like for the do the beta you know there's going to be a window of opportunity and if you do it you then there you go and if you miss it you know tough titty but at the same time if that's going to be applied once this thing officially goes live i mean look we get it 
We're we're used to time sensitive content, showdowns, blitzes, feuds, you know, even daily tours. So maybe it becomes second nature to many of us, but to others, not so much. And I also feel like I mentioned, maybe this is just another distraction. Look, we got a new thing, a new shiny new toy for y'all to play with over here. Pay no mind to the bugs and issues that were going on prior to this release. You know, we we gave you something new. That's what y'all wanted, right? So just, you know, forget about the other stuff, you know? Forget about doing feuds and being insta-killed, you know, going into a match with full health. And then once you're actually in the match, you only got one HP. And you pray to God that you don't get killed in one false swoop or get stuck in a in a stun lock forever in a damn day, right? Forget about that. Because here you go. Stipulation tours. We know you didn't ask for it but we're going to give it to you anyway. I am intrigued. You got my attention. You always do, or I wouldn't be doing videos about you. But I am concerned, highly concerned, because this could be another, another situation where it becomes blatantly obvious we know who the content's for. Now, again... I feel this is going to be cool seeing what you can do, how to get the, how to maximize your runs with the, with these uh, tours and the content that go with it. But at the same time, you know, some people are so plugged into thinking that everything can be two turned. And I think they're going to get a rude awakening here. You're going to actually have to play smart. Certain type of gem, gem matches are going to be uh, needed so you can get, uh, get more points. Certain types of superstars are going to end up having to come into play. Everyone's always, this is why I always talked about it. We always got a tier list for offensive champions. Oh, Hogan just runs through everybody. No one ever sits back and thinks about defensive units. Nobody. No one ever does. Like, it's just the God honest truth. No one ever thinks about, hey, maybe I'm going to have to utilize, you know, Tech Bret Hart. Botch gems galore. Maybe he's going to be the one that saves my ass. Or maybe I'm going to have to utilize someone that does silence gems. Like, yeah, I'll get, get hit by damage, but they're not unloading a crazy Zawal Cardo on me and walking away with mad, uh, mad moves loaded up and ready to kill me the next turn. Some things are just going to be interesting. Now, this is going to be something that I also want to look to see. Maybe the, the um, stun straps play a crucial role in so, some types of the content here, buying you a little time. Maybe you're going to have to take somebody who's making Cascades RNG with the random gems compared to you going in thinking, oh, I'm just going to use the choose gem the guy or girl to get through this, and boom, and then you mess up on one of the requirements. There's going to be some big brain thinking here. It isn't just going to be a thing of maxed out straps, maxed out medals, maxed out perks, running through everybody. I mean, look, more than likely with how they got this other setup going on where you have to choose certain champions that are required to give you other types of boosts, it might be taking gameplay to another level that be that could be quite quite confusing i feel like champions is trying to go and ascend to another meta that it's not ready to properly be at like you can put things in place for something to be the to be something else but if you don't have everything in unison everything working as one you're gonna fall flat on your face so I look forward to seeing how this goes. I look forward to seeing what the Broskis and many other champion content creators have to say about this or how they go about it if they're able to get into this set beta. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing the, and hearing about the information that, you know, applies to this moving forward. But I literally, I like I said, I'm down for new content, something, an alternative route. But look, fix showdown, fix feuds, you know, Get yourself figured out. Like, we literally went from having a event meta that everyone had gotten accustomed to, and then they switched that all up. And now people are miserable. And I highly doubt people are going to go for challenging content that's going to end up costing them more health packs and faction tokens 
at the end of the day, let alone IGC and game cash. If that's what you have to do in order to get another try, another go at this, <sighs> there's a lot of red flags right out of the gate, but there's also a land of opportunity as well. Let's just talk about it. How do y'all feel about this? Is this a sign of change in a good way? Maybe they could easily, like games like Seven Deadly Sins. Seven Deadly Sins, they literally have the updates. They have their patch notes out. And every time they do the, do an update, they're fixing things. They're righting the wrongs. You know, there's certain games that do that. Ark Knights, they do it as well. The, the, One Piece Treasure Cruise, Fake Grand Order. These games, they make mad money. And whenever they let us know about these type of patch notes, these updates, they stand by it and they fix the issues. You've given us a big list about stipulation tours, but then at the very end, you got two bullet uh, two bullet points of <laughs> of in-game fixes. That doesn't cut it. It doesn't. Not at all. If you could literally they make so much money, I just don't understand why they don't want to fix the game. And this is why people end up being paranoid. They don't know if the game's shutting down. They're doing this on purpose. Are they going to be catering to the pay to the pay to play side? Is this going to be pay to win content? It's all up in the air right now. But legit, with the money that they make, there should be no issues in this game. There shouldn't be no problems with this game running whatsoever. And if we're getting something new like this, I'm saying this right now. I my I understand expectations versus reality. The reality of it is nothing might not be fixed at all. But expectations, if you're going to be launching, you know, seven different formats of these stipulation tours for people to try. You got the beta and everything. You're promoting that. If you're going to launch something this big that you literally have come out with all these different types of content for it, I'm expecting every bug, every glitch to be fixed and resolved. So then the only problems that have to be fixed moving forward are the ones that are discovered in the brand new type. But then... That's what the beta's for. So all the issues are fixed before it even launches. I didn't even mean to hold y'all for this long. I'm hoping for the best, praying for the best, but I am prepared for the worst. But nonetheless, always remember, bad times don't last. Champions do. I'm going to leave a link in the description below to the OG Gersans video talking everyone through this. And y'all just get back to me. Y'all let me know how y'all really feel about this. I'm excited, but I'm also one to know, hey, y'all hyped up something else and then it went right to shit. Or y'all hyped something up and then it's there for a month and then it's gone. I can't, I can't get too hyped about it, but I am intrigued to say the least to say the least pardon me but with that that's the video y'all i'm gonna get some sleep but let's chop it up in the future y'all let me know how y'all feel about this brand new stipulation tour the beta that's coming with it the marquee the exclusive prize walls let's just talk about it and just air out our grievances and just get things off our chest so we can move forward and have an amazing weekend ahead of us. But mad love always to each and every single one of you, of my beloved Hashtag Champions fam. Stay tuned. And until next time, peace.